என்னன்னு பண்ண போறோம் இந்த நாட்டிலன்னு கேட்கிறேன் இஸ் அவர் பிளான் ஃபார் த கண்ட்ரி இந்த கங்கா பேசின்ல the ganga basin accounts for 25% of india's geography and 33% of india's agriculture we have removed 92% of the tree cover in the last 70 years in the kaveri basin we have removed 87% of the tree cover we must understand this the only and only source of water we have is monsoon rain only 4% of india's rivers are glacial water and this glacial water largely is coming from nepal and china only about 1% is indian glacial water rest is all coming from outside that comes only in certain seasons in a big way so essentially it's a monsoon which is our source if you look at the last 100 year pattern of monsoons you will see that monsoons have not decreased largely it's been the same there have been a few bad monsoons but generally it has been the same so the same volume of water is coming down it is just our ability to hold it in the land is gone while we came up with the ideas of reservoirs and dams this mega reservoirs and dams is essentially picked up from united states europe doesn't build mega dams it's only united states and later on picked up by the chinese but nobody else built huge dams and we built huge dams we must know this all our dams in south india it's a little better in the northern india all our dams are at 40% capacity right now because of the silt for example we are talking about delta kaveri delta is was the richest agricultural land you could think of you must understand delta means it becomes as fertile as it becomes because of the silt that the river brings there are four major dams and many other small check dams and stuff on kaveri you think silt is coming to you silt has stopped in the dams so delta will die there's no question about this if i say this a whole lot of people will react but i'm telling you the kaveri delta will die because the dams have stopped the silt the alluvial soil that was coming is over and five months in a year kaveri is not touching the ocean 175 km short of the ocean it's drying up so i can go on with many uh, terrible details and facts about the kaveri but what is the plan <clears throat> well as uh, uh, our uh, minister velmani Uh, mention because he is our neighbor i don't call him honorable minister and all he is our neighbor so <laughs> so uh, as he said we started this movement of what's called as project green hands almost uh, 20 22 years ago actively even before that we i took up one project this is something most kwamitur people do not know the hill behind us the velangiri mountains are very rich there are places if you walk one mile you won't see sunlight it's that thick but the hill behind the yoga center all the trees major trees were removed because there was a furniture industry where today one of our spanda one of our meditation halls called spanda hall is built there was a furniture industry running right there and the source was in the hills openly it was running and on those days i paid four times the price that was prevalent at that time to buy this two and a half acre piece of land because we wanted to close the industry there was no way to close it because it was happening in convenience in convenience with everybody involved so we bought that land and closed down that then when i walked up the hills i saw there was not one big tree everything that could be removed was removed we planted over 6 million trees in this one hill i just wanted to see whether we can really execute well ideas grow in your head they don't need any space they grow 
but whether we can execute this. And this was just about four thousand people. All we gave them was two meals a day and I came up with a unique way of planting. In about, uh, I think about twenty, twenty-one days we planted. Today you must come and see this, you shouldn't go by what I'm saying. You must walk up this hill and see all the trees are around twenty years of age. Because it was planted in just a matter of twenty days. And when I saw the success of this, the temperatures in the yoga center used to be in summers, the temperatures in yoga center would be at least three to four degrees higher than Coimbatore city. It just freaked me, how is this? The city has a cooler temperature, right next to the mountain we have a higher temperature. Then I realized the only problem is this, that when the summer once the grass dries up in the hills, this… it is radiating so much heat for us, Today you come and see in the month of April, May, please come to yoga center for a day. You will see our temperatures are at least four degrees less than the city. Why I'm bringing this up now is, I'm saying it can be done. Two… two hundred and forty-two crore… oh! people roll their eyeballs. What's our population? One hundred and thirty crores. If each one of us in the next four to five years plant two saplings, it is done. If you contribute for two saplings, it's done. But we have a lot of people in this country who won't do anything. We will have to plant for them also. There are some people who are continuously abusing me and they said, this is not going to work, this is corruption, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, they're going to steal the money. I said, please count those people, for all of them we'll plant ten, ten trees <laughs> What else to do? It, this is a choice we have, every one of us, not only with this affair of Kaveri, with every aspect that concerns human well-being, with every aspect that concerns this nation and this world, I want you to make this one commitment in your life. That is, from now on, you will always see, there are thousand problems, but you will always see how to pick a solution out of a problem, not problem out of a solution. This one commitment will you take today? Hello? Huh? Wherever you see a problem, just use your brains, what is the solution? No, wherever anything comes, what is the problem? This is why I said, do not utter the word Kaveri Prachane. Kaveri is not Prachane for us. Kaveri is our mother. Kaveri is the source of our life. From now on, if you say Kaveri, you must say Kaveri Thai. Kaveri Prachane. Hello? You are all getting sleepy, I know. At least the word Kaveri should come out of you with some sense of involvement and love for that which is the source of your life. All gods that you have not seen, you are worshipping all the time. Three days if you don't have water to drink, even if God appears, what will you ask? Water. So I want you to, from now on, every time you drink a sip of water, I want you to bow down. Hmm? You will… otherwise, if we deprive you of water for two days, anyway you will bow down. Are we that kind of donkeys that we have to be pushed to your corner to come to our senses? Hello? Are we? No. Well, uh, one of I was quoting Albert Einstein. When Albert Einstein came to India, I'm just paraphrasing, it's uh, not exact words. He said, Indians cannot think more than fifteen minutes at a time. You must tell me now. I'm saying, I feel he met the wrong Indians. What do you think? Huh? He met the wrong Indians, he did not meet us. He met the wrong Indians and came to this conclusion. 
that Indians cannot think fifteen minutes ahead. If you give them pongal, they forget tomorrow. <laughs> but now pongal is under threat. Yes, pongal is under threat. Because the next generation does not want to live on the land because it's heartbreaking. People are not giving up agriculture because they don't like it, because it's just heartbreaking. Go and work on the land for two days at the end of the year, you see what is it that you are getting out of it. It is absolutely heartbreaking, nobody wants to put their children into that nonsense anymore. Unless we make living on the land extremely lucrative, nobody will live on the land. Everybody will try to move somewhere else where there is city, industry, entertainment, everything. So this has to happen now. We have a window of about fifteen years in my estimate. In these fifteen years, if we don't turn things around, what we will see is not going to be pretty. I said this eight years ago, some media people came and I said, see if you don't do the right things now, if you… if you do not wake up in millions, in a few summers from now, thousands will die. They said, oh, ninga ipudi pesa koradu Sadhguru, ninga positive pesanu, ninga edhik ipudi pesaringa. Nana pesanal sari, pesanal sari, daga vandha sagarala satiru vangha. Aladha, tani neer illame daga vandhip chenna, Sagarangu sattir vangdhani, nam sonna matu sagarangla. Ipo kaveri valayatile, pannand varsatile naapatthil ayara vyavasai thargolle ponna, idu patla yan kekre nane. When over three lakh farmers in the country commit suicide in the last eighteen to twenty years, when I say three lakh, I want you to understand, in… we had… Uh, unfortunately we had four wars in the last uh, seventy years in this country, in the independent India. In all these four wars, this many people did not die on both sides. That is the number of farmers who have committed suicide. It… not in a natural disaster or something, suicide. I want you to understand suicide is not a j just a death. A suicide is not just a death. Before a person gets pushed to that point of taking his own life, what he goes through within himself is an enormous level of human suffering. It is… it is not just another death. Death is different, death happens all the time, but suicide is very different. You must count ten or hundred deaths for every suicide, because of the level of suffering the individual human being goes through within himself or herself. If three hundred thousand farmers com commit suicide, is this not enough? Are we waiting for a bigger disaster? I want to know. Are we waiting for a bigger disaster? So this is not a question of Kaveri, this is not a question of this and that. This is a question, what is really in question right now is our humanity. Are we human or have we become rocks that nothing moves us? Nothing just moves us, it doesn't matter. People who are producing food for us are committing suicide in thousands. Every day there are reports, we are reading it like cricket score. So this is a question of our humanity. This is not a question of environment. This is a fundamental question about our humanity. So what can I do, what can I do? You must decide what you can do. I just found out in Chennai, a, f a few beggars were identified, they're earning between 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs per year. It's a good profession. And uh, so now our volunteers are working to get them to contribute one tree per week, all those rich beggars in Chennai. I don't know, Coimbatore beggars may be even richer, who knows? <laughs> if they have positioned themselves well in the right place, maybe they are even richer than that. So if the beggar, if a beggar who sits on the streets and begs every day, if he will contribute one tree per week, what you should do, you must decide. I have never been that kind of person, it doesn't agree with me.